Hi, my name is Bruce with Golf Pride Grips, and I'm going to demonstrate on how to regrip a golf club today. I've been with Golf Pride for 10 years, um, and I've regripped uh, countless clubs through the years. Anybody can regrip their golf clubs. Uh, you just need to have uh, some tools, and uh, having those tools obviously will help you uh, regrip a lot faster. And when it gets down to it, I mean, the other stuff is nice to have. There's only three things you really need. The first one being the solvent. You need the solvent to activate the tape to slip the grip on. The next thing you need, obviously, is a, a hook blade or a blade to cut that grip off. And the other thing is the two-sided tape that you need to secure the grip onto the shaft. So, you know, that being said, if you have those three elements, you can regrip a golf club. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this golf grip. You know, obviously it's going to be um, slick and worn out, and that's the reason you're going to need to take it off. So the way that I remove a golf grip is simple. I get the hook blade, and I always cut away from myself with the blade. So if I slip, I'm never going at anybody or myself, right? And you want to make sure that it's, um, you know, the people around you are clear so they can't get hit if you suddenly slip. So what I do is simply Put the hook blade underneath the mouth of the grip, you know, make sure that it's seated under there, and then you simply push away, right? Use the pressure just to push away, you know, start to cut the rubber and you, and you rub, you know, run it up the shaft. Now it's a mistake a lot of people make is they just simply put some two-sided tape over the existing tape that was underneath the grip. That's the wrong thing to do because you end up getting a grip that's a lot bigger than what you anticipated. The next technique is to use a flat razor and you scrape off the tape basically like you're peeling an apple. It takes a little bit longer, but again, it works. The next step is simply to um, install the two-sided tape and slip on the new grip. So the first thing we do is lock the shaft into the vise. And the important piece here is to make sure that that club face is lined up square. And this is critical if you're installing a ribbed golf grip. So the first thing we do is make sure that the tape is measured out the correct length. You don't want to have it too long or too short. So I always have a grip handy next to the tape to make sure it's measured correctly. And I always measure the exact length of the grip. Now you need to have a little bit of overhang when you put the tape on, but this will ensure that there's no tape hanging out the end of the grip when you're finished. So you leave about a half of an inch of overhang over the shaft that you can see right there. Install the two-sided tape. Make sure it's smoothed out. There's no wrinkles or bubbles. And you wind up that tape at the end and you just shove it in the end of the shaft. So now the two-sided tape is installed correctly and you can put your grip up next to it to see that once the grip is installed, there will be no overhang. So the next step is to apply the solvent over the two-sided tape. So you, and this is a, one of those things where you want to make sure you use enough solvent. You can never use enough solvent because if you get it stuck halfway on, that's when the problems arise and you have to cut the grip off. So you just make sure that the two-sided tape is coated. And I'm using a lot of solvent here. You can never use enough. And then you put the solvent on the inside of the grip. Make sure that your hole covers, your finger covers up the hole at the end of the cap. Simply swish around the solvent in there. Make sure it coats the inside of the grip. And you take your finger off of the hole and pour more solvent over the two-sided tape. Now I have an apron on here to make sure that it doesn't squirt onto my clothes. I advise you to do the same, but always make sure that you have a towel as well. And I always use the towel to cover the end cap of the grip so when I install it, nothing squirts out. put this on you want to put it over the mouth of the grip and then you want to be quick installing it. Use some pressure there to install the grip the whole way. Make sure that it's seated correctly there and again I had the towel so no solvent came flying out the end. So now that I've installed the new grip on the shaft I make sure that it's seated correctly at the end cap. There's no movement. The end cap's not swimming around. I make sure that the alignment guides, the logo, the texture is all perpendicular to the club face. 
I make sure that the finished length of the installed grip is equal to a free state grip, it is. I can remove the club from the vice grip. And one more thing is you give it a few pounds on the ground to make sure that that cap is seated correctly. And it is. And then you can simply wipe off any excess adhesive or solvent and you're done. So now I've just installed a Z-Grip Patriot on this wedge, this steel shafted wedge. Um, be ready to play in a couple hours. And we always tell people they should regrip either once a year or every 40 rounds, whatever comes first, to be properly fit and to see all of our full product line. Feel free to visit us at golfpride.com.